they, they took more of a brutish line. I, I happened to ask these boys last weekend if they could regale me with some stories from, uh, from the, those halcyon days in Bangor. I have to say that all of the stories that you told me were so depraved <laughs> <laughs> that there is absolutely no way in polite company I can repeat them. But if, I'm sure if you went to the bar later on, these guys would regale you with the stories of Benner's boss, Matt Martin, the 50 hour long candle. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and Goat Boy Ben. <laughs> now, I, I've got one more diary entry, so I think I should do this one. This is, um, we'll move forward a few years now to 2000, 24th of April 2000. And uh, it's under the title, Adderbury's Day of Dance. Ooh. Now, Ben's voice has changed a bit. He's obviously had his influence from these guys, so I'll have to get into character this one. Met this well fit girl <laughs> who looks like a well fit movie star called Sandra Bollocks. <laughs> Her name is Anna Dawson. She is well fit. <laughs> Hope she likes rugby. <laughs> P.S. Note herself. Find out if she's got a brother called Matt. That would be well wicked. He's a well good scrummer for England. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, won't, I won't read on because there are quite a few yeah, extra entries here that do get rather explicit from that. So <laughs> read on! You can browse that anyway. <laughs> continuously, as all brothers do, from Tiddlywinks to Badminton, he's always been a cause, of uh, a cause of admiration for me. We've always looked out for each other through thick and thin, and Mum, Dad and I have always been proud of your achievements, boasting about you at every opportunity. Looking back with maturity now, the way you've dealt with asthma, diabetes and dyslexia has been a constant inspiration to me. Throughout school, and despite of your diabetes, You've excelled at every sport you've ever put your, put, your, uh, put your hand to. And you've been the heart and soul of every team that, that you've played in. This has been carried through university, through the boys that are here now, through a bit of semi-pro at Westcombe Park, and now with uh, you know, uh, Hampstead Rugby Football Club. Just asking around a few of these guys last weekend, I was just asking for, you know, my sentiments were, were pretty much tripled. A great friend, a gentle and loyal guy, always fun to be around. I have to say, I did get some less complimentary ones. <laughs> <laughs> a bit sweaty. <laughs> Thinks he can dance like JK from Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> and someone from the rugby club said, you can't throw a line out straight for shit. <laughs> <laughs> I know Anna is lucky enough to have a loving family around her. Both Rosie and Suki came back from your Hindu, saying how wonderfully loving Jill and all the sisters are to each other. Aww. And I know all of you have wel I know all of you have welcomed um, Uncle Ben into your into your fold already. We love him. We love ben. <laughs> now I understand uh, his child care skills are sharpening up a bit as well, and. Uh, I, I thought it was four, Anna, but yesterday I heard you say five children between you and Ben. So, seven. Seven children. Seven. Well, seven. You should have really done your research. Oh, yeah, it goes up all the time. Well, I tell you what, God, God willing, I look forward to being a part of that, that new family together. And I hope to offer you the support in London, just some of the support in London, of the massive support you get up here in Adderbury. Ben is. You are an exceptionally lucky guy to have found a person that you want to spend the rest of your life with at such early years in your lives. You've done so much growing up together, and today on your wedding day, you already have 10 years of experiences to remember. There is no doubt that you two are made for each other. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to draw me in a toast, to a lifetime of love and wonderful experiences for Ben and Anna. Banana. 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 Banana.